All right, stuff I like. There's some stuff I like. <laughs> <laughs> so in honor of Women's Day, in honor of International Women's Day, I'm going to ask the biggest and most important question that women have, how do you find a nice man? <laughs> I, you know, because I, here's another Sharia thing that I believe. I believe it is f your happiness is far more connected. A woman's happiness is far more connected to who she marries than it is to her job. I believe that is true. It, t 20 years from now, if you're a young woman, 20 years from now, you will be more happy if your relationship is good than if your job is great. I, I you know, I, I'd probably be hit by lightning uh, for saying that in some places. Stories, there are a lot of stories that talk about, that pit two men against each other, each one of them representing a kind of manhood. And one of the things about feminism is I feel that the feminists have so uh, unicized, castrated the domestic male, the father male, the male who uh, runs a household, they have so taken away from him uh, his authority and his manhood that men have started to identify with the outlaw male more than the domestic male. And, uh, you know, I look back on older stories, a famous movie called The Desperate Hours with Frederick March and Humphrey Bogart, in which Bogart plays this gangster who, with his mob, breaks in to the most anodyne, you know, white bread suburban home and Frederick March, whose only claim to tough guyhood is that he was in World War II, the two of them face off. And there is, it's this wonderful, wonderful battle uh, that they fight for the family. They fight it over the loyalty of the son. They fight it over uh, the safety of the wife. They fight it over everything. Here's just this little, little clip of the only thing I could find. I took this out of the trailer for the film, uh, at which Bogart just expresses the rage he feels that Frederick March gets all the respect. Ah, Mr. Hilliard, mystery calls you. You can't turn this on us. us. I got my guts good and full of you, Mr. Hilliard. Guys like you, smart-eyed, respectable suckers. <laughs> so, I mean, that is a perfect expression. It's a great moment because he's calling him a sucker, but obviously he envies him the respect that he has in the world. And the whole thing is about, you know, he keeps saying to him, yeah, I can hear you thinking clickety, clickety, click. And the whole thing is whether Frederick March's civilized uh, uh, manhood can outdo Bogart's gangster manhood. Shane, you know, the, the movie Shane is really dated, but you should read the book. The book is just about the greatest Western uh, ever written by Jack Schaefer. Uh, it's, it takes you about an hour to read it. It's like 70 pages. It's a novella, really. It's 70 pages long. But Shane is the gunfighter who runs in and wins the love of the little boy, who and, and it's suggested the love of the woman on the ranch who already have the man who is the father. And, and the thing about this is, is in both of these cases, what you discover in both of these stories, what you discover is that the, the domestic man is not not the outlaw man. He's not the wimp man. He's not the man who's not tough enough to be the outlaw man. He's the man who is so tough that he has mastered the outlaw man to become the father, to become the husband, to become the man at home. So ladies, on International Women's Day, if you are looking for a good man, you do not want the man who is weak enough so that he is willing to hide in your home. You want the man who is strong enough that he is willing to forego and master the gangster man and be the leader and the husband and the strong man in your home. And you will not hear that from feminists, and you probably, I will probably hear from the feminists <laughs> before the day is over. However, Internet, the feminists have it all to themselves. The Clavenless weekend has now begun. And so on International Women's Day, we say to you, be safe through the Clavenless weekend and survivors gather here on Monday. Lots of things in life are beautiful, but brother, there is one particular thing that is nothing whatsoever in any way, shape or form like any other. There is nothing like a day.
The Andrew Clavin Show is produced by Robert Sterling. Executive producer, Jeremy Boring. Senior producer, Jonathan Hay. Our supervising producer is Mathis Glover. Technical producer, Austin Stevens. Edited by Alex Zingaro. Audio is mixed by Mike Cormina. Hair and makeup is by Jesua Alvera. And our animations are by Cynthia Angulo and Jacob Jackson. The Andrew Claven Show is a Daily Wire Forward Publishing production. Copyright Forward Publishing 2018.